I would like an intro for my channel. Can you help me, Luke? I need your help, Luke. Remember, I am your father. Okay, father. I can help you. This is my lightsaber, by the way. I can help you as long as you let me use and channel clean the motion video effects in the process. Okay, if you must, Luke. But make sure you make it a good one. Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is John Dean and in this video we're going to be looking at M Channel Clean which is a, an incredible plugin for motion video effects uh, which I have fairly recently bought um, and I've done some playing around with it um, just dabbling really so we're going to be taking a look at that so let's dive in. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to play you a quick edit that I did for a client um, where I was basically experimenting for the first time with M Channel Clean. Now, I'm no pro in M Channel Clean. I'm not going to give you an expert tutorial here because I'm still learning it myself. Um, but what I will do is show you around and the types of things you get. So let's roll this video that I created for my client, um, which actually he wasn't a fan of uh, so it wasn't the final version in the end I did uh, make a new version um, but um, I personally quite liked it and I liked the uh, elements that M Channel Clean has to offer so let's play that video Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Let's dive straight into the computer and take a look at the breakdown of the video and what I did to get there. Let's go. Okay, guys, so first of all, uh, what I did was um, obviously compile elements. So the way it works is you uh, basically build out your video. So as you can see here on the magnetic timeline, I've got uh, shots of Dan um, in his element doing his thing. Uh, it's basically it was a company intro that I was sort of dabbling around with um, and then on top of that I've got sort of light leaks and uh, various sort of niceties uh, which I've basically overlaid in the settings so applied a soft light setting to uh, and then we are going into the M channel clean area here so um, first of all what I uh, did here was um, put in a intro, intro one uh, which gave me this nice box um, I've also got a letter box um, uh, going throughout the whole, whole video as well so basically the way M channel clean works is you go into your once you've installed it through uh, your M installer which is great actually by the way a lot of other plugins you have to install them manually whereas uh, all motion video effects uh, plugins come with this excellent installer so it's as simple as just literally hitting install um, and uh, then it does the rest uh, and installs it for you so okay so M channel clean we can see is just here so let's have a quick look at what we have uh, on offer so we've got a nice little hexagon thing is that I can't remember now if, forgotten all my shapes from school um, but yeah either a pentagon or a hexagon or something like that uh, and then the uh, square here and then we've got another sort of rectangle funky thing uh, we've also got a triangle uh, which is pretty cool uh, we've got some other shapes here which are great in terms of overlays I think you have to get them on the right footage though um, because if you put them on the wrong footage, you'll see in a minute, it doesn't really work that well. A nice little add-on uh, shape there. 
and then there's various backgrounds and a lot of these come with like transition-y type things so you can go from one video to the next uh, and I'll just have a quick scroll down nice titles as well You've got lower thirds uh, in there that are quite cinematic sort of good look um, good look to them you've got a preset opener which uh, is really useful as well uh, so uh, you can literally just drag loads of videos in and create an intro super fast uh, so I haven't played with that yet uh, but that looks really good probably one of my favorite motion video effects plugins I have to say um, just super quality got like a progress bar if you're creating a video um, but the great thing is is you've got full control over all of these elements uh, which you'll see in a minute some more titles and subscribe buttons and things like that so um, really powerful stuff um, and really it is all up to your imagination in order to create a really good looking video out of this um, and it's great really for uh, intro videos I see a lot of youtubers filmmaker youtubers using it I haven't quite used it yet but I plan to um, so let's just take a look at this video so first of all we've got the intro there now that's uh, bringing on a nice effect uh, to it uh, in terms of uh, sort of the way the video is coming down there and it's bringing a box on as well uh, I'm going to turn scrubbing off because it just um, will be crazy if we do that so it's as simple as selecting your video from here uh, from whatever video you want and then dragging it into the uh, drop zone box there and then as I said before you've got full control over what you've you put in there um, and uh, yeah it's a really sort of powerful tool really uh, let's have a look so we've got that hexagon shape uh, going on there with a, a, a um, values title over the top of it um, we've got some nice transitions it sort of blends it so you have to line it up with the right portion of the video so it sort of transitions properly otherwise you'll have the same part of the video transitioning um, so you want it obviously transitioning between two videos but it's all built in so it's literally just as simple as going to what you want um, uh, so you want that and then just dragging it in uh, and there we go so you can build a really good looking video in a matter of minutes which I really love um, let's take a look at else, what else we've got going on got this nice sort of shape now the the way the shape is and the footage I put it on top of wasn't great uh, Dan didn't particularly like these shapes which I can understand because it's sort of not great footage to put the shape over but it certainly looks very cool I have to say um, and then we've got titles here uh, that are popping up in boxes uh, and um, yeah that transition with uh, I've applied an add-on as well so um, we've got the title here uh, and then we've got an add-on here so if I turn it off uh, you can see what I added there um, so that's that bit uh, and then you've what else have I got here so yeah this is a really cool title just a nice box sort of title coming in uh, really really cool looking I have to say this shape is very funky I quite liked it on top of the sea because it's sort of like you know what the sea is so uh, having an arrow like that on top of it is you know fine whereas when it was on the car it was getting a bit messy I think um, but yeah quite liked it there uh, and then you've got these really funky titles so uh, let me just play it back uh, and you can see it's sort of uh, really nice sort of box sort of shape to that and then just another title now a great thing of M Channel Clean is it comes with some excellent transitions. So uh, as soon as you install it, uh, you know, once it installs the plug main bulk of the plugins there, and then it installs um, transitions into there. It's got some great transitions. So it's got a zoom. It's got this uh, sort of effect here that, that I've got. So if we play that. Uh, so that was a zoom and then it's got that so that's a transition so you can actually put a title in between um, two videos which is really nice through that transition and then you've got an X effect transition as you can see I'm previewing it there uh, and then you've got that type of transition and then a slide and a sort of unveil 
transition, which I haven't actually used yet. What I would love to see is just a clean slide um, across. That would have been really cool to have as well, um, just to really finish it off. Um, but in, in, in effect, you've sort of got a slide there, but it's sort of opening it up in a different way. Uh, just would have liked a quick slide uh, with some real nice motion blur attached to it so that you can really use between two clips. That would have been funky. Um, but to be honest, excellent transitions. And you can see I've got a few um, motion video effects uh, plugins now. I've got M Behavior Basic, which is free, M Callouts, which is an excellent one, M Camera Rig is brilliant in terms of um, adapting the angle of the screen, M Channel Clean, M Collage, M Title, um, M Title uh, Simple Pack. Uh, M Tuber is probably one of my, my next favorite or next go-to one. There's so much that you can do in there. Um, but really what I'm finding is the more plugins I've got for motion video effects, um, the more I interchange their features. So one provides a great set of features, another one provides a great set of features, and individually they're powerful. But what I'm finding is as soon as you combine the, the two sets of features together or all the features together across all the packs, you're just like this is insanely good value so they are fairly costly um, the plugins they come at about $80 um, per plugin which equates to about 65 pounds or something like that um, but what I'm finding is I tend to wait for discounts because motion video effects run discounts throughout the year. At Easter, they ran like a 25% discount. Uh, quite often you might see even the 30%, the 20%, 10% here and there. So definitely wait for those discounts to come up. They seem to be quite frequent. Um, so I always wait for those and then just pick the next one that I really want to get um, to add to my arsenal of editing tools. So hopefully this video has been helpful. It was just a quick overview really of M channel clean because I don't think many people have done that yet. Just give their opinion of it. Basically, it's one of my favorite plugins ever. Um, of, of all the plugins I've downloaded, it's got to be up there in, in the top list. So powerful. Uh, and enables you to create some top quality content. And bear in mind, that was just my first video attempt, which I bashed out in about three hours. Um, so it could be a lot better um, uh, uh, as I sort of develop it more. So thanks ever so much for watching, guys. If this video has been helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could um, hit the like and the subscribe button. I know you hear this so often, but seriously, it does make a big difference in my life. Um, if you could hit like and subscribe, that would be appreciated. Take care, guys. Bye for now and keep making videos. To my beloved son, Luke, I regret to inform you that I am your father. Love that. <laughs>